Hello and welcome to the Crunch Guide to Raising an Invoice. To start off with raising our invoice, we need to be on the sales page. Now to do this, we can jump straight in and use one of the new invoice buttons and this will take us to the invoicing page. Now from here, we need to choose the client for whom we're gonna send the invoice or add a new client in if we haven't done that already. Once we add the client, their details such as the address, the currency will populate into the page and we can then set the date for our invoice. So I'm gonna to use today's date. We have the option now to bring in a client reference or a payment order number if you wish. I'm gonna leave those blank for now. The payment terms is the time in which you are asking your client to make payment. Now that will default as 28 days, but you can change that if you have a different agreement with your client. Now you'll see that we have the option to tick here to show that the amounts will already include VAT. I'm gonna leave that for now and we'll see that when I add the amount in here, the system will add VAT on top of it. So I'm gonna enter in a brief description and then the amount that I wish to charge here. And we'll see the system will add VAT on top of the amount that I've entered. Now you can add as many line items as you want if you need to show different types of services, or you can also add discounts to each line item if you have a client for whom you're gonna offer a discount. When you're happy with the line items, we can move on and we can add in a note if we wish. So if we want to put, for example, a thank you message or if we want to put our website details or social media information in here, you can do so, but you don't have to use a note there at all. We can also include our bank account details if we've added these to the system yet. Um, if you want to show the clients exactly where to pay you, then they can use that information. Finally, we can set up a payment reminder. So if you have a client who you think might need a little bit of gentle encouragement to pay you in good time, you can set up these reminders and let the software do the legwork for you. I'm happy with these details and I'm gonna save that as a draft now. Um, we can see the invoice shows as pending. And what we need to do is make it live in our software and in our records by choosing issue from the options. Now we'll get a preview of our invoice and if we're happy, we can choose to issue it. Now, if we want to send it direct to our clients, we can choose to issue and email. We can then click and this will send off to our contact who will now receive the invoice. We can see the invoice has been paid, uh, sorry, has been issued because it now shows as outstanding on our sales dashboard and will also show in our sales figures on the performance charts. So this concludes our look at how to raise an invoice in our Crunch software.